as I had mentioned, I'm divorced. And I got divorced when I was 29 years old. Uh, that said, I went back to dating. And, you know, prior to getting divorced, I was dating with a totally normal family unit. Then after my mom got diagnosed, this is a huge thing. Um, and I didn't know how people would take it when I say, hey, listen, my mom is really sick. So when I met my boyfriend, my now boyfriend, um, and he's not going anywhere, uh, one of the first things I told him was I laid it all out on the table. Number one, that I'm divorced. <laughs> and number two, that my mom has this really rare form of dementia. Did your boyfriend know what that already meant? No. Okay. I said, my mom has a terminal illness. I help take care of her sometimes. Um, it's, it's a huge burden. I did say that. And he told me not to worry about it because his mom had passed when he was younger. So he understood what it was like to see his dad caregiving for his mom at a very young age. So in many ways, I feel blessed in that he understands what it is that I'm going through. Mm. And I know that I can rely on him for that kind of support. Right. Um, you know, I wanted to really paint a picture for him to understand what my mom was like before this, because it's it's important to me. He'll never meet her like that. Oh, right. So you wanted him to know what she was like. I showed him videos. Yeah. I showed him even screenshots of the nasty text messages that she would send me to be like, this was my mom. Mm -hmm. To a T, this was my mom. Um, obviously, she's not like that now. And it was also amazing to see how hands-on he became with her helping and helping my family, like when my parents were moving and he helped pack up the house because he understands. And the day we got the genetic results, he was with me that day. And he said to me, he goes, regardless if you're negative or positive for FTD, I'm not going anywhere. That's when you know you have a keeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but to be a part of this whole thing and sitting with me on the calls with the doctors that are doing my genetic testing and learning as much as he can about it and finding resources and um, just supporting me when I do things like this mm -hmm. to advocate and to talk about this untold story of a caregiver, I'm forever grateful. And the fact that my mom knows who he is, like she can point to him and say his name, that's all I needed. Wow. Yeah, that's that's special for sure. It is very special. He caught her just in time. 